I already packed few of my items. This is my trolley bag one, and that is my trolley bag two. And these are the items like cooker and all. I need to still. So I have given the headers like this and made a list of items under each header like kitchen items, food items, medicines, and also the toiletries, clothes, shoe, the accessories you need to take, and also the certificates and the documentation which are compulsory for us to take while going abroad. Hi guys. <clears throat> Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Namano Prayan. I know it's been 7 days. I haven't uploaded any video. <clears throat> As you can hear, <clears throat> my voice is not clear, right? Um, I'm sick actually. I'm not well from past 10 days. I have cold and fever. That's why I'm not able to make any video. Today I'm somewhat better and at any cost I wanted to make a video. So as you have seen the title, so let us look into the list of items that are required while traveling to UK. Not only UK, but to any other country if your stay is longer. So before going to the video, please subscribe my channel Namanoprayanam and also you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and even Telegram as well. Please do follow and support me for more informative videos. So let's get started into the video. So as you can see, I have made a Excel sheet, actually it is a Google sheet. So I have noted down all the list of items that are required for us while we are going to abroad. Okay. So one by one we will look into it. First is checked in luggage. That is our trolley bags. That is the baggage stored in the cargo section of the plane, which is away from passengers. So this checked in baggage won't be with us. So it will be handed over to the airlines and they will take care of it. And we need to collect these bags at our destination airport okay so that is a checked in luggage or baggage whatever it may be so this is the major luggage we need to talk about so as we are going abroad on a student visa or a work visa and whatever it may be so if you are going abroad for first time initially we need to take our uh, food items and also the kitchen items and utensils to prepare ourselves okay so first in the kitchen items we need to take a uh, cooker so especially in india we have cookers with whistles right so need to carry that a small one is fine if you are going as a student but if you are going as a family you need to take big one like two to three liters something like that so with this cooker we can boil eggs vegetables and also we can cook curries as well so apart from that uh, we need to take electric cooker electric cooker is mainly the rice cooker in in asia like india pakistan bangladesh Mostly people eat rice, right? So we need to carry this electric cooker, which will be around uh, 3000 or so in Indian rupees. And it weighs around one or two kgs. Apart from that, we need to take uh, curry pan to cook our curries. Dosa pan is useful for uh, chapati, dosa, and also we can make omelet with that. Apart from that, we need to carry spatula of different sizes. Spatula in Telugu is uh, garitelu. And spoons we need to carry at least uh, half dozen you take for multiple purposes you need to you can carry fork as well and meals plate to eat our breakfast lunch dinner whatever it may be you need to carry at least two plates and bowls so bowls uh, after cooking your rice or curry uh, if you want to store it in refrigerator or even if you want to heat it in microwaves you need to carry bowls right so at least take two of them you can buy after going to abroad so after that for cutting vegetables fruits or meat we need knife so apart from knife we need peeler also after that we need scissors as well and take at least one or two storage containers you can take uh, steel or plastic as well but uh, take care of them while packing after that we need to carry glasses or tumblers for drinking water or tea we can take bottle flask if you are taking flask it will be useful for drinking hot uh, coffee or tea even you can drink hot water as well so please take that so these are the main kitchen items i have noticed which are basic things if you want to go as a single person or a 
a family at least you need these things so next after the kitchen items uh, let us come to food items so these are the very important uh, for us as we are going from asia especially in india we eat a lot of uh, mirchi powder so take these items uh, according to your usage so in my case i use very less mirchi less salt everything so i will take a very less amount in my case but uh, please you can carry as per your wish so uh, apart from mirchi powder we need to take uh, turmeric powder in this section i have given the cages or items we need to carry and in this the appro approximate rate it is not the exact rate but approximate rate i have given for calculating the expenses of this luggage okay so apart from turmeric powder i need to take chili powders that is south india we say karak podi so those will be useful even if you don't cook any curry at that time so this is very important chili powders and also please carry vegetarian or non vegetarian masala powders you can make at home and pack yourself or you can take ready made also from the supermarkets and sambar powder especially from the south india the tamil guys and andhra telangana people we mostly eat sambar as a breakfast also as as for lunch and dinner also if you want to make your own sambar you can take the sambar powder that will be handy and apart from these powders uh, you can take some pulses dal etc carry some grams of it uh, initially it will be useful for you it will be useful in curries also next is uh, tamarind i came to know that we cannot take the tamarind seeds so please remove those seeds and carry if you don't want to carry tamarind uh, you can use tomato after going there in the curries so next uh, these all things are what i am packing so other things as per your requirement you can carry your food items which are used for preparing your meals so apart from that we can carry sweets or namkin mixture whatever it may be it's your choice and uh, many people suggested that we need to carry instant food like maggi noodles and all so after going there we cannot set up all those things in a single day right so initially at least one or two meals we need to survive with the maggi this maggi and all will be available in uk also but still if you carry with us it will be useful and dry fruits like uh, almonds cashew and all if you are habitual with those things please carry or else not required and other food items like biscuits chocolates wafers it's up to you you can carry based on your weight <clears throat> i kept this one last which is pickles i like pachadi so this is very important uh, sometimes if you are unable to uh, cook any curries or if you are busy with our studies and part time jobs and all it will be handy for us if you if you take one or two kilos of pickles mango pickle tomato whatever it may be you are interest please carry with you make sure you pack it properly in covers take necessary precautions because uh, if you don't pack properly it will spill over and your luggage will spoil okay i don't know whether airlines will allow this or not but uh, you can carry if they don't allow we cannot do anything so apart from kitchen items and uh, food items important one is medicines <coughs> i am already having cold and fever today so medicines we need to carry fever medicines like dolo 650 paracetamol whatever you use in india please carry those things because even it will be available in uk also even there will be hospitals and all but still initially you need to take uh, two to three trips or more than that because it is a cold country as the atmosphere changes suddenly the weather will be different please compulsory carry these things and uh, you need to carry all these things with prescription uh medicines related to fever cold and cough if you have any tooth aches any problem with your teeth you need to carry those medicines and uh, medicines related to your nose ear some people have sinus they need to carry those medicines and you need to carry some sprays or ointments for your body pains and also you need to carry skin related uh, ointments okay then you need to take uh, medicines related to digestion issues as we are going to new place and uh, if you eat new food there maybe digestion problem will be there and uh, simultaneously vomitings can happen 
so need to carry these tablets some people use jandu balm amrutanyam for headaches and all please carry those things as well and next is spray spray is like uh, for painkiller if you go for jogging running if you have any knee problem or if you have any back ache you can use move fall in whatever it may be whatever you use please carry those things and next is uh, sensodyne for the teeth problem so if you have any teeth problem you can use sensodyne for your relief and if you are using any things for your hair for my hair uh, i had a hair transplantation so i need to carry my medicines apart from that i need to carry minoxidil spray so i need to carry hair medicines also and other treatments like i said some people have sinus problems some people have gastroenterology problems if you have kidney problems kidney stone issues and other problems you know yourself right so please carry all those things it will be useful in emergency situations okay even if it is not useful for you but it can save others uh, problem also okay so please do carry so as i kept all these in check in luggage one because even if the oil in the pickle spill so it won't be problem for us so there there are no cloths here there are no books here and there are no certificates here so even if something happens so yeah, it won't be a problem for us and i have calculated approximate weight so for kitchen items it will be 8 to 10 kg food items also like 10 kg around and medicines hardly it will be 2 to 3 kg so overall combined uh, it will be around 23 kg with the trolley bag also so we can pack all these things in a single trolley bag i need to still pack those things and that is my check in baggage uh, that will so there is a check in baggage and i will carry along with me for my laptop and uh, documents okay yeah they have given the usa and uh, rest of the world but i think even for uk also it is similar like air india we need to carry two pieces which is 23 kg each so i will i will show you the baggage allowance in different airlines so while buying your suitcase or trolleys please take care of these things or else it will be a problem for us